Hello students. In today's class we will start new chapter. Chapter 6. Fun with paint. Okay. From today this is your practical exercise. I am going to start. This is the practical software. You have to do practice on your computer, laptop for painting and drawing in Amos Paint software that you have already familiar or learned in class class one okay now open your book page number 44 and start reading children we know that you like drawing as it brings out your creative idea so let us have some fun with drawing and coloring on the computer so you have already learned the paint program in class 1. So let's have a quick look at it again. This is the paint window. The paint program has many tools help us to draw, color and pictures. So how to open paint? First you have to learn the steps. Click on start button. Then choose all programs. Then click on accessories. Then click on paint program. So after clicking on paint program, the paint, paint window will come in front of you like this. This is the paint window and this is the very first bar. This is quick access toolbar on the left side of the window. And this is title bar and this is the paint button. Parts of the paint window, I will explain you. It is divided into the following main parts. First is title bar, the blue bar at the top of the screen you can see. It display the program name and file name. Okay, whenever you save the file, your file name will come on the title bar. And next is quick access toolbar. It contains buttons to do some common tasks. And next is contain different options to work in paint, that is paint button. Fourth is ribbon. You can see this rectangular bar, this is called ribbon. It has many tools, color palettes and many options for drawing. Ribbon consists of two parts, tabs and groups. It is divided into two parts, tabs and groups. Each tab contains tool arranged in different groups. You can see two tabs over here, home and tool. And group is the set of related commands. Seventh part is drawing area. Drawing area covers the major part of the paint window. In this drawing area, it is used for making color colorful drawing. Next, using the tool groups. The tools group has many tools that have different functions. You can see these tools help us in making drawings. To use any tool in the tool group, simply click on the tool. It will be selected. Then move the pointer to the drawing area. After clicking on that tool and then press and hold down the left mouse button like this. Now drag the mouse to the drawing of it to draw a picture. You can see when the picture is completed, release the button. Now there is one tip for you to know the name of the tool. Place the pointer on that tool. It will be showing your tool. Here. Next is pencil tool. First tool is pencil tool. It is used to draw free form lines or curves like your simple pencil you are using for writing or drawing. First select the pencil tool. This is the pencil tool. And then select any color. Then move the pointer to the drawing area. And press and hold down the left mouse button. Okay, you have to press the left button and, and you have to hold down. And then drag the pointer to draw kites that shown in the previous figure. You can see this will how you will make the kite drawing. This is, uh, this is made with pencil tool. Now using curve tool. Next tool is curve tool. You can see this is the curve tool. Select a color. 
required thickness first you have to click on that tool then bring the mouse pointer on the drawing area and click and drag the pointer to draw a line then move the pointer to the point where you want to add a curve okay then click and drag the line to draw a curve you can see it will be curved you can modify the curve in the same way then another tip for you curve can be modified into two times okay only two times you can modify that curve then after that it will be stick that design to erase a drawing select the eraser tool move the cursor on the area that you want to remove after that next color is, uh, tool is fill with color tool okay with this tool you fill the both base with red color follow the steps first you have to place the mouse pointer on the blue color in the color group and then click on it it will be selected blue color then select the fill with color tool this is the fill with color tool bring the mouse pointer on the both base and then click once okay it will be filled color with red color similarly fill color in the upper part of the base both base as shown in the figure any color of your choice you can fill with this tool now next is selecting the foreground color color 1 you can you have uh, you can see in the ribbon there is two tab color 1 and color 2 color 1 is for foreground color and 2 is for background color so you have to click uh, if you want to choose the color for color 1 so you have to click on color 1 then select the color any color from the palette so click on the red color the color group which you want as the foreground color now select the fill with color tool and fill the board with that color you can see it will be filled as foreground color now selecting the background color color 2 and then Click on yellow color in the color group to select it as the background color. Now select the fill with color tool and right click on that background part of the screen. So you can see it will be filled with yellow color as background. Next is adding text. If you want to write any text on your drawing, so you can do with this text tool. This A is called text tool then click on the text tool then pointer will change into the plus sign you can see then click and drag the pointer on the drawing area where you want to place the text a dotted rectangular box will appear with a blinking cursor inside it you can see then type the text as shown in the text box whatever text you want to write okay now there is a computer care tips for you always press the keys of the keyboard gently hitting them hard will damage the inner connection okay so now we have done this chapter so you have to read read it again and watch this video again and try to learn all the tools and their functions and do practical practice at your home you can make beautiful drawings first you have to make some kites okay and one drawing we have done uh, in, within the chapter it is boat drawing or you can either you can draw with your choice so use these tools and color tool color palette okay and make beautiful drawings now this chapter is completed okay now i will give you homework for today